Yes guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Cricket District. Today, myself and Jack are gonna try and recreate the greatest cover drive of all time. But it's not just us trying to give it a go. Ian Bell, the man who played that shot, is here too. He's gonna to give us a few tips and try and recreate his iconic cover drive against Peter Siddle in the 10-11 Ashes. Let's give it a go. So just a quick one, what do you remember about that drive? I suppose just remember, I look back on that, I mean to be fair, it was more about that tour, it's probably the best tour I think a lot of us ever went on to win out in Australia was, um, it was an amazing moment and time. So actually, you know, I think a lot of us were at the, in the peak of our powers in terms of how we were playing. Yeah, I was just in good nick. Obviously sometimes you actually couldn't get out in the middle because Cookie was playing that well as well. So it was, it was nice to get out there and like you said, um, you know, play that kind of style cricket in Australia, which is which is important as well. And do you have fond memories of that shot in particular, or is it just the tour as a whole? Like um, yeah, and there's no doubt. I think you know I watch that shot a lot, especially on birthdays, and uh, and obviously it does go across social media quite a lot. So yeah, a lot of time. I mean, the footwork, the timing, uh, the placement. Um, you know, looking back now, you know, there's probably about uh, two extra covers, a, a deep cover, mid off. So to to pierce the gap and get it all perfect in terms of like I said, timing and and. Um, hitting the gaps because again that's the, the key to to I suppose batsmanship and the best players in the world that I've watched you know when they when they execute they hit the they hit the gaps which is the most important thing so that was really pleasing. Ball one, Ian Bell is gonna try and recreate his iconic cover drive against Peter Siddle in the 2010-11 Ashes. Here we go. Oh not far off. Didn't go straight enough but and the timing wasn't quite there. Good throw actually I should have should have done better, that was a bit rusty that I reckon. It's a few years out of the game that one. <laughs> oh, getting there, getting closer. Close, close. That's pretty close. Pretty yeah, close it's getting now. closer. Probably again, if I was being critical, I probably would have hit mid off. I always think when you're in training in nets, the danger when you're in nets is you just, you just hit the ball, you're not really concentrating on where you're hitting the ball. I think the best players, again, in practice, they're really specific and hard on themselves, making sure they hit the gaps. bit wider, trying to hit it a bit too hard actually. It's okay. I'm not sure what we're doing in the slips, there's no chances coming. Right <laughs> Don't worry mate, you're in a great place for me. <laughs> Trust me, I was caught there a lot. Oh. Top old. So what kind of pace was someone like Siddle bowling in there? Yeah, well I think at that time, and one of the keys when you're batting, especially in that was, I think probably he's into his second, third spell there, maybe third, fourth. So again, that's the time as a batsman, you're trying to do all the hard work with that new ball and you were talking about getting the best bowl into their third, fourth, fifth spells where they're a bit tired and then that comes into your, your favour. So that's what I sort of remember a bit about that time. It's okay. Not quite half volley, but happy with the technique, so. Oh, I've got to respect it. Oh, Dave, that's good. Well, Dave. Oh, that's Kane Williamson, that. <laughs> that's what we want, look at that. I could never do that through my career. Oh, that was the one. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go, oh, there we go. That'll do, close. and I'll let it go. That'll be me finished. <laughs> yeah, that was as, better, as good as I could do, really. Timing, yeah. like I said, that would, that would hit the gap. Cool, you've seen how a world-class batter does it. Now time for me and Jack to have a go at recreating that iconic cover drive. What would your advice be to two village cricketers looking to try and emulate that shot? <laughs> well, I think with the cover drive, and you see it a lot these days, I think for me, it's um, you're not looking to head, actually hit it for four. For me, I always think if you're trying to hit it for two and allow the natural bit of timing to happen, I think when people get in trouble with the cover drivers, they see the ball early and they just try and smack it too hard. You know, I think the key to it, especially when, um, depending on the field placings and stuff like that, the, like I said, you've got to allow the natural bit of timing to happen again. And I always feel like you get the technique right, you'll get four anyway, and I think that's, that's the important bit. I see a lot of young players, as I said, they see the cover drive, their eyes light up, and they try and belt the cover off it, and that's where you get in trouble as well. I've nicked off many a time doing it, but yeah, the, the key for me is actually to try and play it as late as possible under your eyes, and like I said, try and think about hitting it for two rather than for four. Come on then. First one. Pressure on the throws as well here. <laughs> nice start. 
probably just lean back a little bit on yeah. that back leg, try not to break that back leg. Nice. I had to keep watching yours back over again. <laughs> oh, good. Let's try and keep that head over the front knee. There we go. Done, three balls, took three balls. I'll take three that, balls. that's come out all right. That's nice, mate. Oh, Please. here he is. Back. Back. <laughs> Nice, me. it's all right though. Hit the gap. Oh, get... Why can't we get any good keepers here? Wicket keepers. Next time we need wicket keepers. And he's an Aussie. Unbelievable. Last nice, one? Mate. Yeah, last one. That's Ooh. a bit full. Sit back a little bit and just. Nice. There's a good one in there. Yeah. That third or fourth one was absolutely perfect. We'll take that. That's nice. I think, um, yeah, head over. Just a little bit, yeah. Just literally collapsing that back leg a little bit. Try and keep that head above that, over that front knee. Yeah. If you did nice, didn't try and overhit it. Can't be cheeky enough for the last one. Done. Easy. What a coach, what a coach. See, that's better. With a head over, coaching Too that. easy, too easy. Thank you very much, appreciate it. All right, easy. Toby, you're up, mate. Remind me what the, uh, the couple of keys are here with cover drive. Again, for me, just make sure that front head or the head is over your front knee. Yeah. Nice and balanced. Don't be leaning back. And then again, don't try and over hit the ball. Okay. I think people see the half volley. Yeah. And then they try and belt it. And that's yeah. when you get it slightly wrong. Drag it on or you nick it to the slip. So again, just try and hit it for two. Cool. Okay. Let the natural ability take over. Okay. I can't quite believe this is happening. I'm getting throwdowns from Ian Bell. And I'm trying to recreate his cover drive. Let's give it a go. Nice. Front foot went a little bit down middle. Yeah. Try and get that round, that shoulder turn as well. Oh, look at that. Solid. Nice. It's okay. Nice. Yeah, nice, like that. Not too bad. Not quite belly at the SCG. Ah, not nice. quite. Keep staying on it a bit. Yeah. A bit longer, stay on it. Go on well to those Yorkers again, mate. Well bold. <laughs> I'm getting flashbacks of my middle stump <laughs> going up, up the gap. Nice. Almost. Nice, I like that. Almost. Nearly Come there, on. yeah. I can hear the roar of the SCG now. Peter Siddle, in he comes. Right, come on. What did he say? He said, high elbow. Yeah. Watch the wall, don't try and hit it too hard. All right, here we go. Oh, that's beautiful, that. It's nearly a straight drive, but yeah, that is I'd beautiful. I'd say that's actually better than his at the SCG. It's there. Still four, <laughs> mate, still four. Peter Siddle got through his legs. I like that. That was nice. That was the best one, that one. Try one more. Come on, Tobes. Oh, there it is. In the gap. That'll do. Just got to hold the pose a bit longer and show off a bit more, that was all. Sorry, hold the pose it's longer. Bit, yeah, it's a little bit like, you've got to own it. There's, everyone's watching. You've got how, to long, how long did you hold the pose, pose for? for the camera as well? Otherwise, you, no one's taking a picture of it. <laughs> Brilliant, Danny, thank you no, so very much. Good. Nice, pleasure. Well done. Thank, thank you so much. much. Um, yeah, thanks to, thanks to Ian for helping us out with this video. Thanks so much to Neon. Check out their new range um, of cricket bats. The best in the business. We absolutely love working with them. And thanks for watching Cricket District. See you next time.